environment. It can disturb your atmosphere but it does not disturb your internal spirit you have come to a point of maturity look at your neighbor say neighbor when you reach a place where there is nothing or any offense that can distract you your spirit they might disturb you they might chile you but if they don't disturb you you are mature spiritually follow me I'm teaching you now for crusade you think you crusade you stay there hallelujah I'm praying this is the face of God you need the corner people will be hearing your voice. I'm teaching you international levels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God told me you have international crusade. Our first international crusade. You will understand the meaning of Tanzania on international levels. God showed me, showed me all flags. The way nations will come for me. The way nations will support me. And you support our ministry for our first visit. Let us see our hands for that vision. I write somewhere, I don't know, I don't come with my notebooks. When I receive those revelations, I, I, I write them down. And, but before that, go show me something else. He says, Lucy, before as you are preparing for this concert, Prepare prayer mountain. And uh, a prayer mountain. Mount. Where your evangelist and everybody Mount. will be prepared for that. And I say, God, you know, I need rent for my ministry, for my church. I, need, I have all these problems that I need. Because it's what I'm about to give you is beyond the rent you ask me. What I'm about to do is you. What is red? That's a small thing. Ask me for something. Yesterday, go show me the place that you put the prayer mountain. Two puppets for Jesus. Show me a place. I want it. I put it as a surprise. But I will need to acquire a very big land. You see people buy land to build church. Me, I will buy land. The first land will be to set the prayer house. If I were you, I would celebrate this morning. Because now I'm speaking things I know that I'm a spiritual member. You see people, if you get money, you say, to build church. Before God says, before you build church, you have our church, but before you build church, God says, build an altar where people can pray, where evangelists can pray, where people can pray. Ask them to give me a house for my children. There are people who are texting me, Instagram, Facebook, Saying, Mother, how can I be by you? How can I be better? I want to join you. And then I say, This is not a place where I can mentor someone. You want to be I need to have a place. When somebody says, Madam, I need to be mentored by you, I pass it out to log into the prayer mountain. No, we were not doing anything until they are right in the Spirit of God. Oh, yeah, you are a conscious for you. I tell them, I tell them, God's time is there. Because, you see, the problem with us young people, it's not that we are not anointed. The environment that we are under is a temptation environment. Hello? Hello? I say, you see these young people, you see us, it's not that you are not anointed. But the environment. Is not that you are not anointed. But the environment. It is full of temptation. So this is why today they feel anointed. Tomorrow they don't. Tomorrow they feel. And, they, and most of them have opened up deep stuff. 
Now you know me. Then she said, Madam, I struggle with this sin. I struggle with that sin. So I know I cannot mentor them so long as they are still in that environment of sin. I'll be doing a, 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 a useless mentorship. Somebody said, anointing needs an environment. Somebody said, anointing needs an environment. You cannot be in an environment full of temptation. You come from prayer room, praying, you are strong. Before you come, beautiful ladies, They want to go, they want to go, they want to go. How do I know? Because I'm a young person like that. 
Like the spirit says, and the spirit, who are you? The spirit will question you. You will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what has never been seen before in Tanzania. You will see it. You touch someone who will say, We are 50 of us. Who are you? Who you are you? Who 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 are you? This type does not go out. Unless through what? Fasting and food. Supporting my shadow. 
When people say it's bad, I'm struggling with sin. It's not sin that you're struggling with. It's an environment that you're struggling with. Then you have to look at the environment that does not support the desires of your soul. The environment that does not support the desires of your prayer. The environment does not support your spirit to flourish. There is always someone telling you, Come here we sing. Come here we abuse. Come here we pray. Come here we steal. Come here we destroy. Come here we hide. All the ways. So when I say people, do not just pray for God to give you the ability to win sin. Pray for God to put you in an environment that supports righteousness. Pray for God to put you in an environment to put you in relationships to put you in friendships that also supports righteousness. Even you are a strongest man in the spiritual life. But if you dwell in a sinful environment, you will soon be broken. This is why prophets had to guard themselves. This is why prophets are used to appoint special men to be around them. Jesus went to the point to the disciples yes, to follow him. Only twelve. He knew that if I don't surround myself with right people, with right environments, I will soon be like them. The same thing to faith. If you are a man of faith and you surround yourself with people who are speaking fear from morning to evening to people who are declaring fear from morning to evening even that faith that you claim to have will soon be brought down. There's something about an atmosphere that as a believer and as a child of God, I need you to be always ready to descend so that you may be able to guard, to protect that which the Holy Spirit has put it in your heart. It doesn't matter if you've been six hours in prayer. It doesn't matter if you go to a prophetic church. So long as when you come out of that prayer room, you are not careful with the environment. You go anywhere people want you to go. You mix anywhere people want you to go. You talk to all groups that people want you to go. You are in the groups of people in yourself. People are sending naked pictures and you are calling yourself a Holy Spirit 
your God and you will be yourself and put yourself in the environment where people are saying it is impossible to move mountains, it is impossible to break mountains. I will so now, the voice of the Holy Spirit will be sold in your life. This is the reason. Right now, I will teach you faith. Right now, I will preach you faith. But because you go back to the environment that doubts go, because you go back to the environment that does not believe that does not believe God can do it. That does not believe God can move it. Before you think enough, you think maybe the prophetess was lying. Maybe the prophetess was just sharing me out. Maybe the prophetess was just telling me what I needed to hear. But it's not the prophetess. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's the environment of that which you put yourself in. It's the environment of that which you Fear. Fear is like faith. You're always afraid of something that has not happened. If you have energy to be afraid of something that has not happened, then you must have energy to believe also something that has not happened. Hello. Hello. Always on going to be afraid of something that has not happened yet. Then you have a capacity in your heart to believe God, to trust God for also something that's not happened. So you cannot walk in fear and faith in the same way. Your capacity is one. It's either you are afraid of something that has not happened or you are believing God for something that's not happened. I'm a boy, 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 I'